Welcome to this service of comfort and hope. And we hope that is what you find here, comfort and hope. We know that we come from different backgrounds, from different families, from diverse faith traditions. But this past year, all of us have experienced hurt, sorrow, and often despair. We have reeled from having our world turned upside down. Many of us have found our lives filled with now empty dreams. And so here we acknowledge our losses and pain, our search from hope. So we turn to God, remembering the promise of the psalmist from Psalm 147, verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Johnny Cash once said, there's no way around grief and loss. You can dodge all you want, but sooner or later, you just have to go through it, into it, and hopefully come out the other side. The world you find there will never be the same as the world you left. We light this first candle in memory of all those we have lost this past year. We remember those we lost to COVID and those we lost to other causes. We acknowledge lost health, jobs, homes, community, and hope. May we remember better times in this difficult season. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, for God is with me, protecting me with a shepherd's rod and staff. From the Gospel of Matthew, the fourth chapter, the 16th verse. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. We light the second candle for each of us. We offer up to God our pasts, the weeks, the months, the years filled with caretaking and exhaustion, regret and sorrow, grief and sadness, loneliness and pain, difficult memories, and even neglect of ourselves. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid. For we know that darkness is part of light as light is part of darkness. From the Quran, chapter 24, verse 34, God is the light of the heavens and the earth. A metaphor for his light is a niche in which there is a lamp placed in a glass. The glass is like a shining star, which is lit from a blessed olive tree that is neither eastern nor western. Its oil almost lights up, even though it has not been touched by the fire. It is light upon light. God guides to his light whomever he wants. God uses various metaphors. He has the knowledge of all things. It's translated by Muhammad Sarwar. We light this third candle to give thanks for the lights that have shined in our darkness, for friends who helped and stood by us, for unexpected laughter, or for the kindness of a stranger, for the beauty of the earth, for all 
that sustains us. Even though I walk through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, for love flows through us and embraces us. From Abdul Abaha, Baha'i. Love gives life to the lifeless. Love lights a flame in the heart that is cold. Love brings hope to the hopeless and gladdens the heart of the sorrowful. We light this fourth candle as a symbol of hope and promise. We invite and celebrate the coming of the one who was the Prince of Peace, who promises us no more suffering, who makes known to us that we are never alone. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid. For the Prince of Peace, who embodies hope, is with me. We come now to the prayers for all of us and each of us. This bowl holds the prayers submitted by many of you. Whether or not your prayer is there, the voltage candles that will be lit during this prayer represent all our prayers. God of mercy, hear our prayer for ourselves. We ask for strength for today, courage and peace for tomorrow, and peace for the past. Having acknowledged our own pain, we take time to pray for families, friends, and strangers who live with the struggles of illness and loss. We lift up those who are discouraged who find themselves standing in the midst of difficult circumstances. They are weary and weakened. Bring them rest and renewal. We pray for those who are sick, whether they have hurting bodies hurting minds, or hurting souls. Bring them healing and wholeness. For those who are lonely, may they find others who offer caring, friendship, and even a shoulder to cry on. We pray for those who are unemployed or underemployed. May they find work that sustains them. We pray for all who live in divided, often dangerous communities. May they find ways to bridge the differences and bring peace. We pray for those whose lives have been shattered by natural disaster. May they find the support they need to go forward.
We pray for all those whose concerns are beyond our naming. May they find themselves named in God's presence. Now may all of us know the peace and joy that comes when we help one another ease the burdens that life brings. Amen. Amen. in peace, knowing your pain has been recognized and you are not alone. We are never alone. Amen. <laughs>